Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Pointy Not Sharp. Today we're taking a look at uh, one of my favourites, the Bulgarian AKM Type 2 Bayonet. Um, the collector's market kind of refers to it as the uh, AKM Type 2. More correctly, it should be called the uh, 6X4 or 6H4, depending on your translation from Cyrillic. Now these were made to fit the uh, Bulgarian AKM or AK-74 and um, they're just an absolutely fantastic looking bayonet. Like, look at the, uh, the the patterns in the plastic, it's very typical Bulgarian. Um, pretty much they all have this just beautiful look about them. Unfortunately the, uh, the handle of my bayonet doesn't, it's a bit boring, it looks a bit more Russian. But the scabbard here is very typical of what you generally get with your Bulgarian uh, AKM bayonets and absolutely gorgeous. Been after one for a very long time and my wife finally got me one for Father's Day very recently. Now, these were made by the Bulgarian State Arms Factory, which is uh, now known as uh, Arsenal JS Company. You might recognise their uh, commercial trademark, which is your double circle 10, which I've got just here. And uh, these were made from 1974 till uh, 1985. Uh, I'm not certain exactly how many of them were made and if they made big numbers for export or if they were only issued in Bulgaria, I'm not really sure. Uh, this is definitely a Bulgarian uh, issued one, I know that, uh, based on what I've been told, even though it's a bit different to quite a lot of the others. But um, we'll jump into the history. So prior to uh, this, Bulgaria was still using the AK-47 uh, before they got the uh, the AKM. And... Um, they were still using the 6X2 bayonet, and I've got a prior video on that. I'll um, attach it here, have a look. It explains that whole bayonet pretty well. Then they adopted this one in 1974, used it for a number of years, and in 1985, um, only, what, 11 years later, it was uh, replaced by the 6X5 bayonet, which is um, what we've got here. And I've got a, another video on this one. I'll link that now that to the side. I actually got to shoot a Bulgarian um, AKM recently. It was a pretty good shoot. Actually, it's the Bulgarian AKS 47S, so the, the folder variant. But yeah, that's good fun. Anyway, uh, as for the construction of the actual bayonet, it's the same as all of the other 6X4s. I've done another video or two on 6X4s before, so that's all very thoroughly explained. Um, You've just got your standard AK blade, serrations, your wire cutter notch, your uh, clip point, false edge, true edge. Very, very simple. Uh, cross guard, muzzle ring, uh, your little clip for your um, hand guard or wrist strap. Then your Bakelite or plastic handle. These are polymer, not Bakelite, despite what you um, may have been told. And they've got their little, um, I don't know, dowel or rivet or whatever, whatever you want to call it, pin. It goes through the handle just here. This one feels like it might have been removed, actually. And uh, solid pommel. And um, the pommel is actually not attached to the blade. There's a separation in here, so there's actually uh, a bit of insulation. So you can cut electrified wire, and um, holding onto the pommel will not uh, complete the circuit through your arm. So it's uh, insulated. And obviously nice and uh, strong and solid, so you can use it as a hammer. But... Um, no change there. As for the scabbards, again, no change. Just a um, plastic casting, wire cutter down the end. Uh, there's a metal insert and uh, leather frog. So, yeah, pretty simple. All the AK bayonets are virtually the same, just you know, subtle differences, and they're usually just. Um, cosmetic differences or differences in marking, but the actual construction, they're very, very consistent across um, different countries. And um, as I alluded to earlier, uh, these Bulgarian ones, um, everyone will tell you they're made of Bakelite. Uh, nearly everything you read will tell you they're made of Bakelite. Uh, I've recently been told that's not the case. And after a couple of, like a bit of a look around, I found a pretty good reference that I'm, I'm happy with that stated that they're made of a modern polymer and not Bakelite, um, which is surprising to me, but hey, I'm willing to accept it. But we'll jump into the markings, and that's where this one gets a little bit different. Um, this is 
actually different to any other Bulgarian AKM bayonet I've ever come across. So straight up, we've got our Bulgarian Arsenal mark, the Circle 10, that's no different. But then we have two other markings which are really, really cool. So we have a serial number here on the handle and matching serial number on the scabbard. Now serial numbers on Bulgarian bayonets are usually electro penciled in. I have never come across a stamped serial number and um, when I first saw this, I thought it, first saw this before I saw the circle 10, I thought it was a Dubuk because that's where you get a stamped serial number at the base down here. I got very, very excited and uh, <laughs> my excitement faded when I realized it was Bulgarian, but then I was excited to get, Bul get a Bulgarian as well because I've been after one of those. But um, I've never even seen a photo of another one with a stamped serial number. So if you know why this one's stamped and others aren't, please let me know. I've been told by a Bulgarian soldier that um, just stamped to match the rifle, which um, I absolutely believe. I just don't understand why this is stamped and I've never seen another one that was. So if it was sold to another country and stamped there, I don't know, but there is... Another aspect to this bayonet, which I've been told does make it Bulgarian uh, issue, and I'm about to get to that uh, very shortly, but yeah, if you know why it's got the stamping system of Electro Pencil, uh, comment below, I am desperate to know. <laughs> anyway, uh, the final marking, uh, which I think is insanely cool, is uh, seven notches carved into the side of the scabbard here. Now, I couldn't find any information online as to why there would be notches carved into the side of the scabbard. Um, I asked online and I got the usual response that, you know, any time a notch is carved anywhere into a weapon, oh, I must have killed seven people. No, it's not the case. Eventually, I got hold of a um, ex-Bulgarian soldier who told me that um, each notch represents a month of national service. So this bayonet was in the hands of a soldier who did seven months of national service, or he did uh, the full 12 months of national service and he only had the bayonet for the last seven months, which I think's probably more likely. Maybe he did basic training and then got to a unit and got issued it and did the remaining seven months with it. I don't really understand it, but that's what he's told me. But um, I really, really like this one just because it, it's unique to any other Bulgarian AKM bayonet I've come across. As I said, I've never found another with a um, stamped serial number, and I have yet to see another with these notches cut in. Um, so I'm very, very happy to have it. That said, I am still desperately on the look for a uh, look out for a Dubuk. I really, really want to get one of those, but um, that's for another day, I guess. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any other information about this one here, please feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I know there's some fantastic books out there uh, with fantastic uh, information about these, but I don't have access to them. I don't have them. There's a lot of books on my, uh, my dream list, unfortunately. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.